you have to think about the the capability of a platform to be able to handle that volume of certificates in in terms of just you know maintaining tracking reporting alerting but then even just the, the physical you know re-enrollment of of that sort of identity what kind of tips or advice would you give to an IoT device manufacturer who's looking to make that PKI environment flexible and scalable while remaining secure? Well, it, it really comes down to that specific use case and understanding it. As Ellen and I had mentioned, we're looking at robot surgical arms, you know, on, on a robotic arm. Um, we're talking about pacemakers. We're talking about charging stations. The, the use cases are, are plain. So we really need to understand that type of device and and PKI in the cloud has become customizable. So you can really kind of fine tune how your operation and your build process flows and we can build PKI into that. Um, and especially with EJBCA, that the components are, are flexible and intertwinable. It's not a, a single street or a single path that has to be chosen. So over the, the years, the, the flexibility of PKI and, and let's call it the elastability of it uh, has really come a long way. Um, there's hybrid functions. So if you have secure requirements that require key generation occur within your build facility, we can do that, but you can still communicate with the cloud once that device leaves your facility. So it all really comes down to those those requirements and understanding that and having that conversation, you know, with your provider um, on exactly what it is you need for your specific situation. It's not a, a one and done with all. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think adding to that too, if we think about how certificates are created and then need to be, you know, put under management, I think having a a solution that can be scalable such that if you decide down the road that you want all of your devices to renew their certificates every six months instead of maybe every two years, right? That's going to be a lot of actions that you're, you're, you're needing to, to execute in a very short period of time. And if you do this the right way and you're kind of planning to build all of your IoT products and solutions corporate-wide under this IoT PKI umbrella, it's going to be probably getting up into the millions of devices and for, for some companies even could be billions. So I think you have to think about the, the capability of a platform to be able to handle that volume of certificates in, in terms of just you know maintaining, tracking, reporting, alerting, but then even just the, the physical you know, re-enrollment of, of that sort of identity. And, and that could be just as part of normal operation, or it could also be part of if there's some sort of catastrophic event and something, you know, unfortunately it gets compromised at the CA level or issuing CA level or, or even worse, if something happens to the root and, and you need to swap out every single credential you've ever, you know, issued, how do you do that in a very quick period of time? So I think that's another thing to think about is not just the immediate, like, like Damon was saying, let's put a cert on this and okay, that's good, but you've got to think broadly what are you going to have? How's your organization going to grow? You know, what other companies might you acquire? What what else are you going to bring into your portfolio from an IoT standpoint that then you're going to want to manage, get under control and have it be kind of under the single pane of glass? So, yeah. so I think that's another thing I think about when we talk about flexibility and scalability is just really what's what's your future vision and how, how do you kind of set yourself up for that, you know, now so that you can handle it when you get there.